Welcome to UA High, the prestigious school that's turned out lots of greatest heroes. I'm Deku. I'm running towards my dream, and this hall is learning to smile on my face. <laughs> yeah, that. That's how I'll become the world's greatest hero of all time. In the world. <laughs> Nailed it. But everything changed when Shigaraki attacked. <laughs> I do like this intro a lot. It's growing on me. It's a lot of fun. Little head pat. Yeah. Take those head pats, Shigaraki. Meanwhile, during camping. Works? Class A's already training. You all need to catch up. <laughs> it's so sad that they're like forever in Class A shadow. Even the teacher has a grudge. Don't let me down. We're such disappointing students. Yeah, all right. I'm rooting for you. Well, some of you. Quirks are the same way. They improve the harder you push them. Stronger after every workout. In other words, That's cool. there's only one thing to do. You'll have to break yourselves. I bet at some point, Team B and Team A are going to be head to head. Koda, everyone's favorite child. Shoto Todoroki. Alternating between ice and fire, he's regulating the temperature of the water. How much more powerful can he get? Custom to the cold, and he works on controlling his flames. Someday he might be able to use both at once. That would be something. <laughs> Does he get stupider or less stupid? Through a high capacity battery, he's learning to handle larger amounts of electricity. <laughs> no answer. <laughs> Doing vocal exercises to help him build up his range. It's also good for helping him to become less shy. I was about to say it's an emotional challenge for him as well. He's building up his body by blasting <laughs> This increases the attack range and lets him use Stop! The stop! Stop! Shows. Stop! Joka Jiro, amplifying the quality of her audio by honing her headphone jacks. An invisible girl just being invisible as usual. Being a decoy, like last episode. Increasing the strength of his scalp will keep his head from bleeding even when he keeps popping off balls. Raising, <laughs> raising. Improving their quirks by having Shoji quickly create multiple dupla arms and hunt down Hagakure, who is working on her stealth. Yeah, as I said, just staying invisible. Yeah, wow, wow, that was a lot. That was a lot to take in. That was like a 30 second montage of everyone. I'm excited that Class B is being featured prominently because this means that either they're gonna be head to head at one point or they're gonna be involved when the inevitable villain attack happens or both. Operative types will be raising your limits, maxing out your power. When does Calendar Man get his arc? That's a whole lot of quirks for our homeroom teachers to manage on their own. Which is why we called them. That's correct! The kitties? Four kittens in one litter! Right. Your I feel like they need better employee screening processes. Just lawsuits waiting to happen. Who the hell is that? The hell? Oh, so her power is Google. I can give advice to multiple people at once. That's actually really useful. She's like the support character in video games where her voice just is overlaid over the fight. Sir, I can't hear you! Right, sir! This is scary. Remember that time we were looking forward to summer ultra, camp? Don't you? And show me what that means! Yes, sir! That guy is way more intense than I expected. Yeah, you you think he'd be more normal with his cat suit. This whole pussy crew just gives me a weird vibe. <laughs> There's something wrong with them. There's a lot going on at UA, so it's hard for us to spare much staff for the hero course first years. That explains it. Yeah, it feels like an HR blunder, like a rush hiring decision. They were just understaffed. They're willing to look the other way on their perversion. I've come a long way in such a short time. It's up to me to move forward and make this power my own. There you go. That's right! Tear that weak quirk apart and make it stronger! Yes, sir! It's funny, because if I'm this creepy cat dude, that immediately makes me love Deku. As a teacher, and I guess also just for life, you know, just for dealing with people, people who have that kind of attitude are magnetic. If you don't have to pull them by the teeth, and you can see that they understand something, that they have the the mental capacity or whatever, emotional ability, to reason their way into a strong connection to what they're doing, to self-generate that optimism and the will and the purpose, you're left with a feeling of just awe. It takes some cultivating, but when you meet someone like that, it, it feels like you're meeting someone who's awake, like they get it. There's a choice there, and it's something I've been thinking about a lot because as you guys mostly or all probably know by now I'm like in quarantine right now filming these videos in government mandated isolation. And there have been times this week where like I've hit lows or it's gotten really difficult. But the only way I know out of that is to focus on doing things that will make the time seem worth it or do the things that help me see this time as connected to like a vision of myself. So for example, like every day I dream about what I'm going to do when I get out of here and I try to take steps to improve that. Like every day I do exercise so that I can get out and go to the beach and have like a, a better beach bod. 
Which it might sound stupid, but like every time I finish my workout, I'm like, hell yeah. And I focus on making videos and I study Korean so that my language ability is better when I get out, you know? And at the end of the day, even though it doesn't solve all the, the problems of, you know, being in isolation, it just feels so much better having done those things and the benefits go beyond the things that I've done. It's just like, I know that I did what I, what I could do. I did my best. This is sort of a bizarre rant, but I think the key point for me is the choice there. Maybe it seems obvious, but I feel like that choice is not something I was aware of for a long time. I feel like I was sort of just beholden to my whims and natural state. But I think there is something great about practicing channeling that energy or especially negative energy or difficulty or trials into a vision that produces some kind of action. You're immediately connected to them in some way. And so I feel like that's one of the reasons why Deku is always going to have people looking out for him. He's always going to have the right people in his life because they are reading his energy and they see that he has that kind of potential to self-generate that energy to make himself better. If you guys want to eat, you'll have to make your own meal. Man, that looks good. <laughs> you complaining about curry? What is wrong with all of you? You don't deserve food. Oh, this is a great opportunity. Let's make the most delicious curry. There you go. Speaking of like generating energy, generating connection. Thank you, Ida. Yeah. Use an explosion to yeah, like yeah. that. This is so beneath me. Yeah. See, it's funny. You can read his emotions, even though he's always yelling. There's like tones and qualities to it. That was a "I love you all" tone. It's pretty, pretty remarkable. We did. This at a restaurant, I'd send this crap back. But after the These kids are too spoiled. All this delicious I'm anime food. Out. I blame that. Ch. Kota, <laughs> it's time for dinner. Where are you? That was metal sense is tingling. I'll show them. I heard that by starving myself. How'd you find this place? Oh, sorry. I followed your footsteps. All the good I've said about Deku. Time to balance the scales a little bit. This is one thing that I don't love about him. I mean, it ends up being great and it leads to touching moments for the show. So it's fine as it is, but I just feel like as a person, there's a little bit of like space that's important. No, Deku's a really great guy and I think he's very stable. So there's less risk of that for him. But I think that just in life, the way you s you see this happening a lot, a lot of the time, it's people extending themselves too far into other people's issues. There are some people I think who are uncomfortable with the existence of pain or the fact that there are bad moments in life. And so they'll try to put like a glossy finish on everything and not let people just like have bad times, which I think is important. And other times it's trying to get some kind of personal satisfaction about like helping. But for some reason, maybe it's because he's a little kid. I feel like Deku is a good fit for him. I mean, the kid's trying to get attention, right? That's why he's not eating. Spending your entire life trying to improve your quirk. It's dumb. All you want to do is Does he have a quirk? Off. Get lost. Hey, about your parents. I was Ooh, wondering, going, going were they right the there, water huh? hose heroes with the water hooks? <gasps> he would know, right? He's just blasting this conversation right out into the open. There are lots of different ways to think about how quirks work, so we might not be on the same page. But I think that if you reject them completely, it's just going to make life harder in so many ways. Will you just leave me alone already? Go away! Here, I'll leave the curry. Just eat the damn curry, Coda. <laughs> you do not like this! They were right, they know the location of the camp, right? What I hear. Get to work. Oh my Get god. To work. We're still expecting three more people to join our little party. They're attacking a lot sooner than I thought. Hey, remedial group. Keep at it. Yes, sir. Remedial group. Ouch. Oh, right. They're the ones who failed the, the challenges, right? Who knew yesterday's extra lessons would go on until two in the morning? But that means Aizawa was also putting in overtime, but he's not complaining. He's sacrificing too. You have much to improve here. Right? Yes, sir! You can tell how much they love him, despite his harshness, as they should. And no matter what you're doing, just remember where you started from. Don't forget who you were before you A. Always keep in mind why you're sweating, and why your limits keep getting tested. That's what it means to improve. Where I started. He's so good at connecting all this stuff to, like, emotions. Keeping them focused on why. The why of it. To keep the camp a secret from the villains, hardly anyone knows where we are. That's why you get to wake up with those poor pussycats! We trusted the pussycats. Okay. More importantly, tonight's gonna be fun! We're pitting classes against each other in the I knew it. of courage. I know you've should, been should playing be fun. hard today, and later you'll get to play hard! How's that for a reward? It just sounds like more training. And training yeah. in the dark. Doesn't it create a, a danger for them to be this tired as the villains attack? Did you need All Might for a particular reason? You asked Mr. Aizawa about him. Yeah, um, I did. Todoroki's closing in. Kota? Who's that? Huh? Where did he go? Probably to his hideout. Is he gonna fall across the villains? 
I tried to talk to him, but I think I just made things worse. You were very blunt. I was just wondering what All Might would have done to help him if he'd been here. Eat my DNA. <laughs> to have a complete stranger try to change your mindset sounds like a pretty irritating conversation. Yeah, you gotta what let him let him be a little bit. Actions. Let some space. You have to show him what you're trying to prove. What you say doesn't matter near as much as what you actually do. That's some great advice. I don't know what your goal is when it comes to this child. But it right. sounds to me like you shouldn't be sticking your nose in a delicate situation. Yeah. I'm kind of glad he's saying this. You can still be there for him and be sort of a brother figure and bring him curry without needing him to come around to your side. In fact, if I had to take a guess at how to handle the, the Coda situation, I feel like you just treat him with positive regard. I feel like a lot of it might be loneliness and just looking for someone to be some kind of figure he can count on. Sometimes people like that, they lash out as a test because what they're looking for is if the other person can be composed and be a source of strength in that way. As... A role model, like Todoroki is implying. It's sort of like if you've been burned as a person, you want someone reliable. But because you've been burned, it's terrifying to trust that people are reliable. And so you have extra tests that you throw out. And you make it really, really difficult for anyone to meet your standards. Because that keeps you from placing your faith in what you may feel are precarious situations. But the sad irony of it is that actually you you crave that a lot. Like you actually want people who won't be pushed around by your, your moods or your temper tantrums or whatever. Because then maybe you actually have found someone reliable that you can lean on. So I think Todoroki his advice is pretty spot on. We tend to cut to the heart of people's feelings. It can be annoying. <laughs> he has experience with this too. You guys, your hands aren't moving. We'll never make the best do if you stop now. You know, would know about hands and moving. We filled our bellies and cleaned the dishes. It's time for mating. Oh. It pains me to say it, but the remedial class will be having lessons with me tonight. And <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a privilege. They're lucky in a way. Next team. That's you two kittens. This turned into like a haunted house event rather than training. Don't be afraid. We'll look out for so each such other. a leader. One step at a time. All her pair work is great. You're so lucky if you get her as a partner in these, these events. Now that you mention it, it's kind of smoky out here. Maybe Bakugo and Todoroki Bakugo's got revenge. so scared that I... Todoroki! Or is this the villain attack? Oh, it's happening. Maybe a fire on the mountain? We got another fire user. He's got that, that Azula fire. We, the Vanguard Action Squad of the League of Villains, will tear them off their pedestals. First, let's get rid oh, no. of these feral cats. What? No way! Step up, Mineta. We're counting on you. Yeah, is there a spy? The are their villains attacking this place? Get Someone is off. leaking information. Where's Coda? Yeah. Whoops. Oh no, what will happen to Coda? <laughs> I'm very concerned. They could have found their location through a quirk, I guess, but I'm wondering now if there isn't an insider, like either among the teachers or among the students even. Has anyone showed any suspicious behavior? Or who has shown the least suspicious behavior? Maybe that's the question. Is it Deku? <laughs> Probably not. Wow, so the pacing of this is, is different. Like, season two started with the tournament and built up the characters a lot before we, we got Stain. This is starting off immediately with, I mean, they're not the main villains. They're a sub-squad of what's to come, I think, but nevertheless, it's pretty cool. We just didn't get that training exercise at all. So yeah, that's the end of episode three. I'll see you guys next time when Coda dies of starvation.